All right, guys, welcome back. So, um, in the game there are floating islands, of course, we've already seen that. Floating islands rest atop of clouds, and um, normally they contain some structures, like uh, a home, and a couple of trees, like a forest. Well, I haven't encountered one like that yet. I've encountered a small one, like a cloud, and this big one, which contains what they call a sky lake. I already fished here and I got a water chest and some other stuff. Now I'd like to convert this floating island into, um, into a home for uh, myself and my NPCs. This is how it looks right now. Of course I dug a bit through it and the background there are cloud walls and this, uh, these are cloud blocks. So uh, I think I'll start working on this now and of course I won't bore you with it. I'll fast forward and I'll show you how it looks like afterwards. Okay. Well guys, this is it. We're moving to a new home. I've uh, cleared everything around here, but I've left one chest with something in it. Uh, I think it's a piece of lens. And why is that? Because now we have meteors dropping. This happens after we destroy the first Crimson Heart or Shadow Orb. And in case of a meteor drop, I wouldn't want it to destroy this old home. Maybe we'll need it again. I've built everything up in the other place and the NPC is already there, so let's see how it looks. Here we go. It's night here, but uh, you can see it's. Uh, I've, I've dug everything inside of the cloud. I've built it up with cloud walls, which are transparent during the day. And I've uh, made it with an ice theme, so uh, tables, chairs, doors, uh, platforms, torches made out of um, ice. And this uh, will re resemble a bit of uh, the layout of, of the old home. So this will be like my room with, uh, with the nurse and the chests and everything I need for crafting. And I have, uh, I have 20 rooms here. I have uh, 11 NPCs right now. I've already counted it. So I guess the game doesn't have more than 20 NPCs. I will see. And I also have the lake here, uh, the sky lake. Uh, I can use it for fishing, I guess, if I if I need that. Mm, what else? So in order to move, I've used piggy banks, and you just place a piggy bank at your old home, and you you place whatever you have in the chest in the piggy bank. And then you teleport back to it, you move the chest and then loot the piggy bank and deposit everything in the chest. This is how I move the chest and I think it's uh, it's more, it's faster this way. So whatever you think, it's easier for you. Okay, so this didn't take a very long while, maybe about an hour or so. Now, uh, I already have a spawn point here on, on this bed and... Uh, we're towards the, the far east side of the map and underneath us there's a desert biome a crimson biome we'll have to take care in the hard mode because this will spread and can corrupt our, our home as well and to the left is the jungle so uh, yeah this is where um, my old home is you can see it here so it's pretty far away. Okay, and what else? Uh, we have the dungeon here. We'll need to, to get the dungeon and talk to the old man to fight Skeletron. That's, uh, that's another boss. But for now we'll focus on the jungle, which is right here. And we'll start digging in the jungle. I don't know what to, to expect there, but uh, I suppose we need to find the bee nest and also uh, fight a boss called the Queen Bee. Okay, 